Well, the doctor in chief, Barack Obama, our gracious leader from which all good things flow, says he's still not going to compromise on anything like taxes on heart devices or uh, taxes on the payroll of people making less than $30,000 a year. He's not going to compromise on anything with House Republicans. Uh, and the media, the uh, kleptocrat media, the establishment media plays along with it, saying that it is the Republicans that have shut down the government, even though they've given, what, four different versions since last week to the Senate that they have voted down promptly. So uh, they are here trying to teach you that you need them. As we speak, by the way, uh, we're going to be covering the latest on the shutdown and, and more of the memorials shut down, uh, even in France. They've shut down just open-air cemeteries on the coastline uh, from the Normandy uh, D-Day invasion. But they had plenty of guards there to make sure uh, that none of the veterans that had traveled there or others could get in. But don't worry, all the elite officer golf courses, uh, they're all staying open. And all the red carpets and all the caviar. Uh, uh, in fact, now they've gone to Mount Vernon and a bunch of other places that are not even federal parks and had the Park Service block them uh, and announce because it's federal property. Private parks run by private groups, privately funded, just like the World War II Memorial, no one is allowed in. And they have police, uh, federal police there. So there's a lot of overtime going on at places that don't even normally have feds uh, visiting them to make sure you, the slaves, uh, understand uh, that uh, they're going to uh, control you with that. Just like they want to control you with health care, just like they want to control you with government-run education, dependency, slavery, modern slavery, may your ch chains set lightly upon you, as Patrick Henry said, uh, is the name of the game. Now, that whole backdrop's going on. While our crew, Anthony Gucciardi, uh, working with from StoryLeak.com with InfoWars.com, Weldon Henson from InfoWars, uh, and, of course, uh, some of the camera guys, Josh and others, are, are set to arrive at the NSA uh, in Utah, outside Salt Lake City, as we speak. In fact, we have a live stream and Alex Jones live on Ustream up. We have some backup streams, and uh, we saw an error on the channel earlier, uh, but it's back up now. Never seen that before, a 404 error. But they are now uh, there with Weldon Henson driving. So there they are. If you're watching us on TV, you can you see Weldon. Can tell the difference between the two. I mean, it's like it's one big military base to be honest with you. Josh, who works on film and editing and a production mastermind, do you think they're going to try and take that camera equipment that we have over there and, and, and confiscate it from you because you're using a First Amendment? Uh, we'll see, but uh, there's, a, there's a good possibility that they're uh, going to be pretty upset that we, the slaves, come and ask them questions because they can spy on our phones they can you know look at our emails look at you know everything that we do i mean the the, the facility was surrounded by cameras but if we come yep. up there with two cameras live streaming one camera they're going to be angry yeah we're going to tell them that we're live streaming as well so if they do anything they'll be held accountable for it i mean as soon as we went up there yesterday i mean we had what it, you hadn't even gotten done yet, and there was a, you know, some kind of an intelligence officer driving by staring at us like we were terrorists, so that was interesting. By the we way, uh, let's fade that down, down guys. Talking. We're going to come back from break. That's the live feed. They're about to arrive. We're going to be covering that. If you go to InfoWars.com, in two different congressional hearings, and the NSA has come out. This is on InfoWars.com. Chief of DHS calls privacy terrorism and anyone calling for privacy terrorism, and the press is inherently terrorism. They, they actually say this. So see, anybody for freedom, anybody who's red-blooded, anybody who's not a total authoritarian is a terrorist. Because the government is run by terrorists, so obviously they say we're terrorists. The Alex Jones Channel is the official page of the Info War, but don't miss what's happening on our other channels. The Info Warrior with the week's best videos. Prison Planet Live, where Paul Joseph Watson gives his expert analysis. And keep up with the rest of the InfoWars crew on our other pages. All of our videos are available to repost for educational purposes. See the sidebar of the Alex Jones channel for the subscription links. And remember, you can always find our videos in the highest quality 
by becoming a member of PrisonPlanet.tv. In the United States of America, land of the free, home of the brave, World War II veterans are being told they'll be arrested if they try to visit any of the national cemeteries, the World War II Memorial. They have shut down the U.S. cemetery that's controlled by the Park Service in France. They are actually posting guards at places like Mount Vernon that's not even federally controlled. It's privately managed and funded. They are putting uh, fences up, sending out overtime bureaucrats and, 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 and armed uh, police of the Park Service and others to try to frustrate and block the American people. And of course, it came out yesterday, that's on direct orders of the anti-American, anti-gun, anti-family occupier of the, web, uh, of the White House. There is no doubt that the power structure is trying with everything they can to break this country. And that we have a power structure at war with the nation, with our industry, with our power plants, with our people, with our families. We are under sustained military attack. Our own military itself has been captured by the globalist and is waking up to this fact. The NSA center is run by the foreign offshore banks on record. They use it to control the markets, to rig the markets, to shut down their competition. Uh, the NSA base in Utah that just opened up, it's not been shut down during all of this. Uh, there are articles out at Infowars.com today. We're in Congress. The chief of the DHS uh, openly came out and said it is terrorism or terrorist to want privacy. So wanting freedom is terrorism. Supporting freedom is evil because these people have occupied the nation. They are moving against us. And it's only realizing the total magnitude uh, of this group who believes this country belongs to them and who have seized control of the federal government that we have any chance of ever getting out of this. Now, I sent the crew to Utah to the NSA center and they went and drove around it yesterday and uh, shot some high def video for the upcoming film Obama Deception 2. They they're going back today and are there right now and there is no live feed uh, taking place uh, right now Okay, so uh, we just talked to him over the phone, and they're expecting to do a live feed again in five minutes, and they are at the NSA Center right now. Okay, well, I want to get him on the phone right now. Call him on the studio line. Put Weldon on the phone right now. That, that's how we're going to do this right now uh, here on air, because I wanted him to continue to do live feeds as they drove towards the NSA Center. So they are uh, about to... Uh, arrive there in the next five to ten minutes and then we'll have live feeds here on air uh, of the paramilitary police and the army base that's attached to it and Weldon was uh, actually in the Air Force years ago there in Salt Lake so he knows the area well Weldon Henson who went with him from the InfoWars operation and uh, when we've gone to the NSA Center in San Antonio when we've gone to NSA centers in DC, they come out and act like you're bad videotaping them. These are people that track everything you do illegally on record. These are people that run Al Qaeda publicly. These are people that ship the narcotics in publicly, run by foreign banks that launder hundreds of billions a year publicly. That's in Bloomberg, AP Reuters. And they sit there and act like you're evil and you're bad and you've done something wrong. It's like when cops come up and say, why are you videotaping me? I'm going to arrest you when there's no law saying you can't videotape them. It is just a government completely rogue, completely out of control. And so we're going to see what happens uh, once they get there with the live feed uh, coming up. So we're gonna be breaking all of that down today. And in NSA News, let me direct TV viewers and radio listeners to infowars.com, but TV viewers can see this article from Washington's blog. Uh, that links directly through to the congressional public statements. Chief of DHS privacy officer, government called privacy office terrorist. That's the chief of the privacy office complaining that happened. And then they've got quotes from Hayden, who headed up the NSA, saying anyone that wants privacy is a terrorist. Boom. Okay, this is on record. You're a terrorist. 
if you want any privacy. But the government, the rogue government, it wants total privacy and acts like the First Amendment is the ultimate sin and the equivalent of child sacrifice. Uh, here's another one. Phoenix mayor defends police filming ASU tailgaters surveilling them with the anti-terror teams. And, and we've got mainstream reports where they now call the public insurgents and we're all treated as an enemy and the government is an occupying force because it is a globalist occupied army. Doesn't matter if you're a patriot and a cop or in the military. The people running you, the people in control of it are a seized government. It'd be like if aliens landed and threatened to vaporize the earth if the military didn't go under their command and the military went under their command. It'd be the exact same thing. But these are our fellow humans, these are globalists that have done this and everyone is bowing down to them. Let's continue. California condemns indefinite detention, passes a law saying they will not secretly arrest and disappear citizens. So, uh, Due to pressure, California has done the right thing. And uh, I thought nullification doesn't count when the states stand up for the Bill of Rights. Uh, nullification does. Nullification does. Uh, continuing um, with the NSA news, chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee says we've got more info on NSA spying in the newspapers than from classified briefings. And he said that to what the Associated Press, and it's gotten almost no attention that the NSA will not tell Congress what's going on. See, that's a rogue government, a rogue bureaucracy. Obama says he doesn't have to go to Congress uh, for any uh, approval for military strikes. So that is just some of the news on that front. We're going to get updates from the NSA report live here in just a moment via phone as they prepare to arrive and they start up the live feed, which, by the way, I know Gucciardi's on hold. He can, they can start up the live feed anytime they want. Uh, continuing, though, after we get into the NSA, monuments and memorials remained open during previous shutdowns, reports the Daily Caller and links to the Associated Press from 1996 during the last government shutdown. None of them were shut down because they're open parks. More government expenditures are being spent to block the slaves from access because the truth is almost the entire filthy evil government is still operating like a wood chipper destroying our freedom. They just want to give us the idea that it's all shut down. NBC reports Founding Fathers Tavern closed by government shutdown. Troops forage for food while golfers play in the shutdown. They're keeping the government golf courses open, but shutting down the areas where the army can eat to pull a stunt. Well, who needs the average enlisted to be able to eat as long as the officers can play golf and visit their, uh, their mistresses? Okay, we've got Anthony Gucciardi with us on the phone, and we'll run the live feed video only in the background while that happens. Uh, Anthony, um, I guess it's a little bit further out to the NSA base than you guys had remembered being there yesterday. You're going to go to the front gate and talk to them. How far away are you, Anthony Gucciardi? Exactly. We're about five minutes away. We're on live stream right now at the moment as well. And yes, we went yesterday. There is a military compound at Camp Williams, but it's hooked up to the NSA data center, the Eye of Sauron of the United States and New World Order. And there is a military outpost in the front, and there's a gate, and it looks like there's armed guards and everything like that. And we also noticed indications of underground bunkers and a number of crazy things. And we went up. We didn't even go try to go in. We were just scoping it out yesterday to see how far it would get. Now it's snowing, so it's taking a little longer. It's and, uh, split up now. But So we went around, and we were met with unmarked federal-slash-police cars circling us. We got it on camera in an attempt to threaten us and intimidate us to not even dare to stop the vehicle within 100 yards of the NSA spy center. Well, they'll also have signs saying photography prohibited. You're not on the base. There is no law. You can look at it with Google Maps. They're all spying on us illegally, telling us our First Amendment's illegal. So when they say, don't you see the signs, say, don't you see the First Amendment? And when they ask you for your ID, you demand theirs first. We've done this before. And you can also tell them, you know federal courts have ruled, we can stand outside and videotape this. They used to arrest people until a couple of years ago when they lost in federal court. And uh, you guys are doing a great job to defend our First Amendment. What they're doing is illegal. 
It's not to protect America. It is a foreign command base to spy on America. That's why it's hooked onto an army base. This is a command base to run the technocracy during the shutdown of America. It might as well be an alien mothership landed in Utah to run operations against us. No, exactly. And furthermore, they even have a back entrance. And when we went around there with the same thing, these unmarked cars would come around. It's instantaneous. I mean, this is the most heavily armed facility I think I've ever seen with in terms of they are calling in real time the military police or whatever they are, the federal government, I have no idea. And even when we're not even stopping and doing anything, I mean, we're literally stopping the car and just looking at it. They're like, better send someone out there right now. Well, you have to understand, you are designated, this has come out in Congress, as a terrorist. All Americans are terrorists because this is the foreign army of the New World Order. This is the Redcoats. This is the captured federal government spending hundreds of billions of dollars with giant NSA command centers already built all over the country, building huge ones in San Antonio, Dallas, uh, there's one by my house in my neighborhood, a substation. All, all the agencies dialed in, Obamacare dialed in, the IRS, every uh, schools from California to Pennsylvania, watching kids over their laptops at home. I mean, this is the total Ministry of Truth, Orwell Command Center. InfoWarsStore.com, a conscious and involved distributor of independently made products that support a healthy and aware community. Dive into cleaner waters with your own ProPure system and Pro1D filter. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. We've handpicked a veritable treasure trove of the best non-GMO seed banks on the market. And our selection of films showcases a wealth of knowledge outdone only by our books. Check for combo packs to multiply your savings. Wear your colors proudly with one of these conversation starters. Now available in pink. Get prepared and fund the revolution at InfoWarsStore.com. Every move you make, every breath you take, the NSA and Big Brother is watching you to fix the stock market, to shut down mom and pops to actuary out how to bring in Agenda 21 and deindustrialize this country and collectivize us. And Anthony Gucciardi reporting for InfoWars.com and StoryLeak.com is at NSA headquarters with InfoWars, Weldon Henson and Josh and others from our great crew. Uh, the reason I'm not saying Josh's last name, he's worked here a while and does a great job. I don't even know if Josh wants his full name on air. Some of our folks like to stay incognito with the NSA as if the NSA doesn't already know. Uh, Big Brother. They are now arriving at the base. They have army bases. You can see the guard towers in the live feed there to keep the slaves out and keep the criminal operation going. They also use it to spy on drug dealers that aren't paying their cut. That's come out in the Associated Press years after we told you. There's the military base uh, on the edge of the giant uh, NSA command base. Anthony, uh, closing comments on the phone before we flip over to your live feed. Exactly. So we're now right up here on the NSA data center. As you've seen on the live feed, you can see the military outpost, the tower, the data center itself, which is massive. And this entire time, the last uh, three, four minutes we've been talking, we've been driving along the outskirts of this massive eye of Sauron. This, this gate you're seeing right now, if you're watching the live at InfoWars.com, this live stream, we're going to approach the NSA and uh, talk about the fact that they are completely spying us, but we can't actually document them through the First Amendment. We're pulling in right now to the back entrance. We're going to swoop around and go into the military side of it. But this entire compound, because right now employees authorized visitors, deliveries only, we're going to get unmarked police cars, federal agents coming very, very soon. Absolutely. And they're the putting program. signs up even outside the base under color of law fraud to act like you're bad if you even approach uh, your, your taxpayer paid for grid. I'm going to get off the phone with you now, Anthony. Just take your time. Get out of the car. Stay focused. Tell them this is still America. Tell them you know that they are running a criminal operation. We're going to go to your live feed now. Go ahead and disconnect the phone and get ready. Great job, Anthony Gucciardi. Let's now. Right, thanks, Rod. Thank you. Everybody's praying for you. This is such a free country. Now we need more people. Remember, 15 years ago they said this didn't even exist, the NSA echelon. The media would actually say it didn't exist, the controlled media. Now they're forced to admit they're doing it, and now we're having an open debate. So let's go to the live feed. It'll be about 30 seconds delayed. Let's go to that right now. All right, here we go. 
This is the official live feed. We are now entering the NSA back. We're going to go into the military establishment, but we couldn't resist. There's so many signs here saying, do not go in here, essentially, or you'll be arrested. No filming whatsoever. This is complete surveillance state on us, all these cameras. Yet, we're not allowed to even film with an iPhone, which is what we're using right That's now. That's because they're committing crime. So here's, here's the Inside. Lot. They said we couldn't get in the parking lot. Everyone told me there's no way you're going to get in the parking lot. You will be arrested before you even set foot in the parking lot. Here we are, the NSA data center parking lot, where all these loving government officials are. These guys are as bad as the World War II vets you said going into the memorial. And you can even look up. There were NSA agents, you know, agents, very official agents, recently that were fired because they were snooping on their girlfriends and listening to their phone sex. But here we are. That's a good spot right over there. I'm going to go grab it. All right. Well, I wonder what that building is over there. I don't know. We should get the other camera phone, too. See a spot over there where we can get it. Yeah, so here we are. We're trying to figure out what, what's even going on. Their directive is to go find the PAO. The entering the key. Or the PIO, the public here. information officer. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and park. Or public affairs. And get out. Look at this view. Yeah, both names. Look at this, the beauty of this area. And the NSA is just destroying it, corrupting it as a cancerous tumor on the beauty that is Utah and the United States. And again, and this isn't even Mars. supposed to exist. There's so many good people here that don't understand what's going on. I mean, there's people that are actually somewhat patriotic in many ways, but they think that the government spying is a good thing. They just don't understand at all. So that's when I, when I told people that we're going here, they, they, their brain almost blew up. Like you're going to the NSA, you're, you'll get arrested for just looking at it. They couldn't even understand. That's so right. That's how intimidated here. America's gotten. Start filming with the full setup and most likely cause some problems here. The spots are uh, reserved for low emission vehicles only. How, the mission how, uh, spying on the American people illegally. Well, it's take the how dare journalists go to the NSA? Nobody's supposed to do this. They're God. They're above the law. Look over there. This is a hard break. We got to go to break on radio, but the live feed just went up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Hit refresh. It's Alex Jones live on YouTube. Alex Jones live on Ustream. Right now, we have backup streams as well up on Infowars.com. And this is the military base entrance. Then they're going to go over to the civilian entrance. Maybe it's because. Maybe they're fans of the show and they heard. And they're oh, they're watching right now. You better believe it. They are staring at us like we're some type of goblins or something. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with us, folks. Is it not my king time to spring the trap? No, we must desecrate the soul and the flesh of the creator's creation. The chain of life broken forever. A monument to our beauty. trying to direct our guys from Austin, Texas, where I'm sitting here at the InfoWars First Amendment Liberty Center in defense of the Republic and the spirit of 1776 and all the basic Bill of Rights and Constitution that our forebears fought and died for, trying to communicate with the crew. And I've told them to get the camera closer to the police so we can hear it. It's very windy out there. Here we go. Let's see if we can hear what they're saying. How do we get a hold of them? Contact. This is at the NSA I mean, listen, I just love Criminal to Center. This is the NSA okay. Occupation I'm Center. Right it now. isn't oh, supposed to, to exist. I love the to Spy to Center. They want to turn the cameras off so they can arrest everybody <laughs> and make stuff up, probably. Do you work for? At least in my experience, there come more police. Listen, Alex. 
we're, we're talking to live on it. Give me the phone. Here, give me the phone. We're just talking. We're live Alex, right now. Is, uh, yeah, put Gucci already on air. I'm here. Look, look, look. They're spying on everybody. Yeah. Listen, listen, they're calling in their buddies. They're about to confiscate all of our cameras right now. Well, just keep the live feed rolling. It's First saying, Amendment. Hey, we're saying we're on live feed, First Amendment. We're saying First Amendment. We just want to ask some questions. That's he's right. You're the Josh. press. He's about, take, he's, take, he's about to take the camera for Josh. He's about to take the camera from Josh. Well, right aim now. the camera at him. Listen, sir. Listen, sir. Here, you want to talk to live on Alex Jones on air? Do you want to talk to the NSA agent live on air, Alex? Yes, I want to talk to the people trying to violate the First Amendment. Hey, guys. We're just journalists here. We're just journalists. We're just trying. We're live streaming right now to, on Alex Jones show. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, hey. He got the live feed. These guys Alex, love to scare to, Americans. The live feed. They love to try to intimidate everybody. He's, they're taking the cameras. They're taking the cameras right now. There you go. National incident. You can't pull listen, up in a parking lot listen, listen. Okay. in America. Okay. There you have the NSA people grabbing the camera at a parking lot on the edge of the base. Don't show live on air right now. We're just live on air. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. These are the people on the edge of the base pretending the First Amendment's illegal, pretending we're bad when the NSA's on record committing mass crime, the NSA director's on record lying to Congress. Turn it off. How do I turn it off? I'll pull the battery off. Just tell, just tell me how to turn it off. Dude. Look, they don't know how to turn the phone off. It's a phone. They're trying to turn the big camera off instead of the live feed. <laughs> public affairs or something. Yeah, they were sent. I just sent my guys to the front of the base to talk to public affairs. That's their directive, as we said earlier. That's what they went to do. We've called them, and they didn't call us back, by the way. <laughs> no big deal. You know what John Wayne said? It's not about being the best shot. It's not about being the quickest draw. It's about being willing. It's about showing up. And we're showing up in the info war to expose the illegal NSA. There should be a million man march on these facilities for our First Amendment. We're sick of it. And I salute the World War II veterans that are going across the line of the O'Berry Cage, the Obama Cage. You guys gonna get any snow over this side of the mountain today or what? Hope so. <laughs> Y'all got any so far this year? Um, no, just the mountains. Yeah. You're, you're, you're hearing a live feed from the parking lot outside the NSA criminal spying Big Brother tyranny center. Everybody's supposed to grovel in fear to these people. They all know the courts have ruled you can go up to the parking lot and film. Five federal court rulings. Five. Five. Type into Google. It's not illegal to film government buildings or NSA. Washington Post, Associated Press. But everybody's scared to go do this. Everybody's scared to act like free people. He's going to get some information from you, all right? So, this protected government facility, obviously you know that. No, it's in my pocket. Um, we'll be asked that you don't come back unless you're invited. Contact TAO. They'd be more than happy to talk to you. Okay, that's their job. He's telling them go, and they'll contact the public. Information officer, which is fine. I gave him the directive. Ask for the PAO or the PIO. They have both names, and then to leave. I all I have is on me. Sorry. And by the way, when we went to cover Pittsburgh, we had it all on video politely at the Army base, at the National Guard Center where they had regular Army. They lied and said we threatened to kill them, and had the police threaten to arrest my guys and go to their hotel. They just finally cut the feed. Was that it? They finally cut the feed. And and we had total footage when they pulled up to the military base, said, we called earlier, we'd like to talk to your PIO or PAO. And they come over, they say, who are you? We're InfoWars. They see the camera. We leave. The police come. And then the police call me and say, we're going to arrest your reporters. In fact, I called the cops back and famously aired that live on the radio. People remember. And I said, we have it all on footage, cops. We didn't threaten to blow up the base. It was blow up the base. And the cop went, oh, you've got it all taped. And I said, yeah, before you frame us for trying to bomb the National Guard Armory and, and, and see to them, in the case of Pittsburgh, framing Americans was no big deal. Just like when I covered in Brooksville, Florida with Mike Hansen, an urban warfare drill, 
We have footage of locals saying, we've been told don't talk to Alex Jones, you're crazy. And then they had a special forces guy start jump out of the woods when I was trying to film the maneuvers and start setting fires. Going, shouldn't have set fires, Alex. And I had to put the fire out and basically tackle the guy to stop him from setting fires and blaming it on us. And I told the guys before they went, this is no joke. This is no game. You are lower than an Iraqi to them, okay? You are lower than a, than a Serb to them. You are the ultimate enemy. You're a red-blooded American that doesn't want to be a slave. And I want to be clear, these average cops out there are just Dudley Do-Right and, 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 and think they have the moral authority and they're probably not bad people. But that's what we thought at the military base in Pittsburgh. Then they arrested Rob Do took them to a torture center where they set everybody out in the rain all night. And I'm not going to get into everything else they did to other people because it's pretty humiliating, but it's, it's bad. They had the U.S. Army with the National Guard and the police, and we sued them and we won. So you're all on notice. And, and I, I know the NSA can plant stuff on my computer. I know you guys can come kill me. Go ahead. I don't want to die, but I'm not scared. I'm committed. I know I'm right. I'm committed. Like John Paul Jones when they said, are you ready to surrender? When his ship was sinking and he said, I've only begun to fight. And he ended up taking them down. We have only begun to fight. We're never giving up. We're never backing down. We're never stopping. We know what's going on. We understand the globalist occupation. We're aware of what's happening. Have I been wound up today, folks? It's because Gucci already had the idea. I am absolutely stuck here. I've been to the NSA before in D.C., and Jakari and others went down earlier this year to San Antonio. Uh, and the same thing basically happened that just happened now. And Gucciardi said, we ought to go to, we ought to, go to uh, the NSA center and, and, and point out that they're not being shut down during a government shutdown. And I said, okay. I go, you want to go to San Antonio? He goes, no, let's go to the really big one in Utah. So I said, who wants to go around the office? And uh, Weldon Henson, who's Air Force veteran and loves Utah, was stationed up there for many years. He said, I want to go. The head of my shipping department and product procurement department with Tim Fruget uh, just does a great job, great patriot, good friend of mine. He wanted to go, and he's never been reporting for us. He wanted to go do it because I guess it was what you'd see as a dangerous mission for freedom. See, there's a spirit of, of, of defeating the tyranny that everybody wants to be involved in it. And that's the spirit that's going to defeat the tyranny, folks. And then Josh wanted to go, so they're there. And I told him, I said, listen, they're going to take your cameras, and then they're going to try to intimidate you and threaten you once they're turned off. You've got to say, good, set me up, lie, be evil. You are going to end up going to jail when we take this country back, and then they'll release you because I've been through this before. It's like a spirit. If they think you're scared and they think that, that you're groveling, if you just go, fine, set me up. Do whatever you're going to do. It's on you. God's going God's to gonna deal with you. They literally, in every case, start shaking because you're not afraid. I had this happen with Delta Force down in San Antonio. They did take our footage in that case. And Mike Hansen would not give them the camera. This is right outside the military base, Fort Sam Houston. The Delta Force ordered them over there because we were covering the drill and pulled out his Beretta and stuck it right to Hansen's chest and said, I'm going to tell you one more time to give me that camera. And Mike, by the way, didn't give it to him. And then he said, holstered the gun and grabbed it away from him. I got to be honest with you, I was ready to give him the camera before he pulled the gun out. Because, you know, we're going to win this thing. That's the thing about Mike. I never told the story he didn't want it told. We were in another case where people pulled guns on us. And Mike literally blew up and told him to go ahead and shoot him. Oh, yeah. That was, that was quite a case one other time with some hillbilly folks who were trying to help out. And then the feds went in and told them we were feds. The next time we showed up, and they were telling us we were feds. And Mike blew up at them, and they had guns. They we started pointing them, and Mike's like, go ahead. I'm not afraid of you, you scum, you white trash. <laughs> That's the thing about Mike Hansen. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm going to shut up. I'm not going to tell any more of the story. I just started having flashbacks to all these events. Listen, we're not the poor Russian people that were always serfs, never had freedom, and who were enslaved. We're not the Germans that were strong, smart people, but had always been serfs and followed orders. We're not all these other people. America is the ragtag folks from all over the world that came here through adversity and who do, and, and who do not want to be slaves. And your new world order is not going to work. I don't care how much fluoride you put in the water. I don't care how much GMO, how much NFL, how much Britney Spears, how much Lady Gaga. I don't care how much of it you push and you shove the spirit of 1776 is rising again. They won't let us have industry. They won't let us have jobs. 
They're shutting down our power plants, but they built a giant power plant just for that NSA center. The first thing they built five years ago when they broke ground on that abomination. So you see, they get power, they get money, they get energy, you get cut off. It's military. It's called siege. And obviously those security guys don't know that. Obviously, they're not bad people on average, but they've been taught we're the enemy, so everything's fair game with us. Everything is not fair game. We're not here to be raped. We're not here to be pushed around. We're not here to be abused. We're done. We're not taking it anymore. Oh, man. Is there any live feed or is that it? Is it all gone? Has the live feed archived yet? Uh, so we can go back and show them the police and what happened when they grabbed the camera? Again, folks, I've checked the law, I've checked the federal court rulings, and they all know this too. They, they, they went up to the parking lot area. It's, they could call it espionage if you went over that fence, but all of it's public. We're not doing it from an espionage perspective for some foreign power. We're doing it for the American people under the First Amendment. The truth is the NSA is run by the foreign banking cartel on record. They are the foreign power that took our money and built this cancerous criminal institution that is expanding and metastasizing right now. That's what happened. I'm putting all these people on notice. And so they always try to intimidate and, and arrested reporters, mainstream reporters, you name it, in the last five years. Lawsuits were filed. The NSA lost. Because you can go up to a military base as a reporter and say, I want to talk to your public information officer or your public affairs officer. Uh, but they try to act like that is some freaky, horrible thing to do something like that. Photography is not a crime. They tried and charged him, but then it got thrown out of court. Uh, a, a resident of Illinois we had on last year was life in prison for videotaping police. And you can see the NSA center back there about 400 yards away, just the edge of it over that hill. And, you know, here are the guys getting out of their vehicle all on a power trip because they work for the NSA. It's shameful that you work for the foreign occupational bank system. It's shameful. It's shameful. It's shameful that you're part of the fake illegal shadow government. It's absolutely shameful. And the sleeping giant that is America is awakening. And more and more, we the people, other reporters, other newspaper reporters, just four or five years ago, they had San Antonio Express News and other San Antonio papers, I forget the name of their weekly, go out to the NSA center they were building right by a Walmart. It's about a third the size of this one. It's the size of five or six big football fields, just the buildings. And they came and arrested the reporter and took his film footage. And then later dropped their fake charges because it's all fake. It, 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 it's outrageous, folks. It came out now that people at prayer breakfasts with Obama that mildly criticized abortion were then audited and harassed under Obama's orders. The emperor, you go to a prayer breakfast. Here it is, IRS audited Carson after prayer breakfast. That's up on DrudgeReport.com. We have Anthony uh, on the phone. Anthony, what happened? Anthony Gucciardi. Uh, mm -hmm. Listen. Listen, they're not even letting me call you right now. They are telling us that we have to legally delete every single thing on our camera right now, but we cannot leave. All right, well, would you want to talk to them about it? Yeah, that's total color of law. That's fraudulent, and they know it. They're saying we cannot leave unless we delete everything on the camera. Uh, to uh, delete the scenes that we shot here. Yeah, tell them to state, tell, tell them to state the authority please, under law. Please state the law in which says we need to do that. He says CFR 228.03, and that's his federal property. If we don't delete it, we cannot leave. But you're in the parking area. Yeah, we're in the parking area of the NSA. Are we, not, are we in the parking area, though? Yeah. yeah. So we are in the parking area. Yeah. Ask him if Google has to delete uh, their, uh, street, uh, their, uh, their satellite photos. Put up the Google. We can, well, we can zoom we're in we're anywhere. What about Google satellite photos and stuff? They have photos or everything. Do they have to delete it? Okay, so they're saying. Okay, so they're saying since we took it on this property, we we capped it later. We can't leave. They're going to keep us here until we do it. They might. Are, are you guys going to arrest us? Or they're going to take all our equipment. They're going to take all our equipment now. Well, you you need to tell them this. Let me talk to them. Here, would you please talk to Alex? Okay, he's not going. He refuses to talk to you. What is this? Would you would you be willing to tell Alex the law? He just wants to know the law. What is his name? What is his name? Um. What's your uh, officer name? Just that T, uh, badge number 800. He's an NSA police officer. And your badge name, sir? 
Sergeant Mamano, uh, badge number, please. 784, and you, sir, please. We're just documenting this for records. Okay. Lieutenant Bauman, badge number, please. Four, just the number four. Okay, he's a lieutenant, he says. Um, so they're either going to, they're saying that we cannot leave, they're going to confiscate all of our... All right, well, you we tell cannot. them this, tell them this, tell them, tell them we're calling the network's legal counsel, and so, and so, uh, tell them that... Okay. Uh, we're just going to call their legal counsel real quick, just to make sure, okay? Uh, now he wants me to hang up the phone. We're just calling the legal counsel. We're just going to get him on the line, and we're going to talk to him, because it appears to be a, a parking lot, but... All right, Alex. So uh, Anthony, on. you make the decision on what you feel is best. As long as they delete the stuff back before, it's obviously a violation of the First Amendment, and we'll have a court case. I don't w wish to sue them, but it is important for the First Amendment. We'll probably be forced to. Uh, so so I, I would tell you that even though these are probably, in my opinion, uh, illegal orders, you are in a dangerous situation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, uh, yes. Yeah. Let's, talk, let's talk about that specifically uh, at a later time. Uh, give me, give me the U.S. code that he's giving you uh, one more time. Please, please provide the code one more time for why you need to confiscate all of our equipment and delete it or arrest us. Can you provide the code one more time? Excuse me, sir. Can you give me that code one more time? They're not letting us to walk away. Can you, can you give us that code? CFR two two eight point what zero three CFR two two eight point zero three says under that code we have to provide every single thing that we took here and delete it. Say that again. That's 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 what law? It says we're trespassing on tr CFR two two what two two eight point zero. Oh no no, that's trespassing. He has to tell you to go. So he's no no no. Tell him you are going since he told you. We're to leaving. Why? What does that have to do with uh, taking all the cameras and stuff? Why do it? What is that? Okay. Tell yeah. him I comply with le with, with your trespass. Tell tell him I comply with you with your trespassing order. We comply with your trespassing order. We're leaving. We're, We're leaving. Yep, that's it. My name is Anthony. We're talking to Alex. Yeah, Alex says we comply immediately with the trespassing order. We will leave, okay? Yes. Yes. So you heard him. You, you need to leave, but you can't leave. So he's going to get a serious civil rights lawsuit with that type of talk. Listen. 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 We don't have a problem with that. We're wondering why under that law, why do we have to delete everything we took? Where does it say that in the law? Okay, everything from here. Why? He says the sign says we can't do it, so we have to do it. Well, that sign, uh, I mean, they the put sign those. Says we're not allowed to film or anything. They put so that. that that's, that's now the, the Constitution. The sign is now the Constitution. But he's. Let, let me talk to him. Is, ask Please just talk here. Just, here. just talk to him. Just tell him the code. These are, they're all refusing to talk to you. They know, they know who we are. Is it public law or do you say CFR? Do you say CFR? CFR, yeah, correct. Code of Federal Regulations. Yeah. Since we're trespassing. I, here, I'll he, do he it. Won't, he won't say that it actually says we need to delete it. He's just saying you're trespassing and now we need to collect everything delete everything you have. Yeah, no, no. He's telling you to leave. Telling you to leave is not a is not a power to to erase your property. Yeah, what what gives you the power to erase the property under that law? Well, just because we're on restricted property, why does it mean we have to delete everything on our cameras or confiscate? I, I just don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. Listen, you guys put in the wrong code. That's not it. It's 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 CFR two two eight zero three. I don't even see that there. And plus, I've studied this law before. You're in a public commons area. I told Are you, you deleting his stuff right now. They got the cameras. They're deleting it. They're just deleting it right now. I mean, short of me literally taking it. Yeah. So they overpowered you outside of law, and are now deleting. They're deleting the stuff. They're deleting all the stuff right now. It doesn't doesn't matter. It's all been live live fed out anyways. Listen, it was all. On, I mean, it's live, but they're deleting all the stuff right now. So. They just got, they just picked up the cameras and started deleting it. Trying to do it anyway, trying to find it. Yeah, obviously, Anthony, don't say this in front of them, but don't remove the, the cards out of the camera. You know what I mean? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> These dumbasses will not even know that. Anyways. <laughs> well, I think we need legal, I think we need legal counsel on this issue. I mean, if, if, Well, look, if listen, it's listen, they've already in a piratical way, seized your equipment outside of law from the research I've done, uh, and uh, you need to you, you need to leave and say we're trying to leave and comply we're with your... We're trying to. We are trying.
trying to leave. We literally cannot leave. They will not let us leave. Yeah, that's what they do. We will be arrested, we will be arrested if, we, if we leave. We're good to go? We're good to go? You need to leave? Okay, we're good? Yeah, Okay, get out of there. Get out of there right now. All right, we're leaving right now. And they're probably, well, they're undoubtedly watching inside right now, but that'll take the bureaucracy time to figure that out. Get out of there and do not remove the cards out of the camera. All right, listen. John. Uh, uh, Alex. Alex. Yeah, yeah. All right, listen. They're listening very closely to what we're saying right now. Uh, we're in the car. Yeah. We were able to get all of the camera stuff, everything, and maintain it. And uh, I think we have all the footage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Getting out of here, dude. But listen, they're, they're freaking calling in more people. They... They are going to get us. Like, <laughs> well, that's oh, how the God. battle's joined. That's our plan. It's called the Alamo, baby. <laughs> what do you listen, think? We're man, stupid? People have, listen, listen. These people are defeated, man. They could not even, they didn't even know what to do. They said, we have never experienced anything like that. They've different. never oh, experienced a slave come before Mordor's slave, gates. We did not bow. And they said, I said, we're going to go over to that office over there. And, and we just looked at Republic Affairs. And they said, oh, that dog would have got you if he went over there. Oh, we're scared of their dog. We're so scared. That's why we went to the NSA center. And we, we, we got it, though. When we first came here, the guy came out of the building. He said, get out of here. Get that camera down. We got it all, we got it all on my screen. Okay, so okay you're driving out, out of there right now, now, right? You're driving out of there right now. We're driving out of there right this very second. And uh, they're making some phone calls. They got our information. We are freaking on the no fly list, black list, red list, whatever. No, you you're not. It. No, you're not. Let's hope they do that because then the civil rights violation is a lot bigger. The only way oh, we take America, the only way we, the only way we take America back is by showing Americans how to act, showing them that we can stand up to Mordor, showing them the illegal spying is going on. And I'll talk to you off air, obviously, but you guys are smart. Make copies of the footage, get it to secure parties we have in the sector. You know who that is, and then they won't stop us. Three copies, go procure other uh, systems, copy it, and then secure it. And then hope they try to stop you at the airport when you're leaving. Yeah, exactly. They might. They're making some phone calls right now. They're not very happy. They, they just so amazed when we stood up to them. Have you rolled out already? Are you out of their, uh, their uh, foreign jurisdiction? What happened, Josh? Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're leaving uh, the entryway right now where all the signs say you can't come or you're a criminal. So we're going back onto the the public property because apparently uh, the parking lot is not... Is, is a Listen, I've already checked it. Up. So is the Associated Press. The receiving areas, those signs are fraudulent. They know that. They know you can pull up and ask for their public information person. But again, they act like you're bad to want to know about the big giant group of criminals uh, that uh, in Congress and in D.C. that set this up. And they well, don't want they, they don't want know the, how to delete the stuff. They, they had no idea what they were even doing. They, they don't even li li listen. Listen, they don't even want the minions thinking that it's illegal because those cops aren't criminals. They're just ignorant. So just get out of there. Get out of there immediately. Yeah, we're, we're getting out of here right now. We're going to go secure all this stuff. I mean, it's just absolutely, this is just like a complete takeover. There's just no rights left. They're like, I said, well, what about the first amendment? They said, the sign says no footage. There's no no constitution exists anymore. The sign at the NSA overrides the constitution. Well, that's just like they tell kids they can't write about guns in a story. They can't write about their dad that's in the Marines. They can't show the symbol of a finger. There's no law. It's thought crime. They're just telling us the National Park Service is going around to stuff that isn't even federal property and shutting it down right now at Mount Vernon, you name it, because it's all a giant power grab. They need to keep us intimidated, keep us under their orders, Anthony. They've got big old lights on at the military camp now, even though it's broad daylight. Oh, they've gone on alert. Criminals. Well, that's because the enemy, the American people showed up. The, the enemy. American people dare to show up. <laughs> They probably got alert, 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 whoop, 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 alert. The press is here, alert. There's still real reporters, alert, alert. Run for the hills. I mean, it's like a, the first amendment. It's like an ant hill panicking. We're gonna come back. Second hour coming up. Info Wars at the Utah Big Brother Criminal Spy Center. Are we choosing our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? As we've moved through history, every great leader has had to understand the potential of information. Billions of dollars have been spent 
privately and publicly looking at how to tap into your psyche. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. When somebody obscures that feedback loop between you observing and testing it out and verifying it, they can take total control of your awareness. All of this is happening so fast, you need to be ahead of the game. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would not only endorse but demand a war. Out right of another one, another plane just hit. State of mind, because there's a war on for your mind. Get your copy of State of Mind the movie at InfoWars.com. And remember, every order at InfoWarsStore.com receives a free citizen rulebook. If you just joined us, Anthony Gucciardi is on the line. He's going to tell us what happened behind the scenes just minutes ago when they took the cameras and turned off the live feed, screaming at them, cussing at them, freaking out, making up laws. They're being followed right now. Go back to live feed, Anthony, as soon as you can. You're in Utah. Get to a good position. I would run to the media. I would run to a newspaper and tell them that the feds are after you and, and run to the press like sanctuary. We need everybody to contact the press. I need Paul Watson, Steve Watson, Kurt Nemo, whoever, to write articles about what just happened. This is breaking news. Reporters dare to go to the NSA Utah Center that no one else dare go to just to ask to a public information officer like we're North Korea and they flip out. Anthony, before they, uh, blame me, you're not out of the woods yet for, by a long shot. In our experience, they'll now make stuff up. But we're on record now to, out in front of that. We know their psychology better than they. Tell me, reporting for InfoWars.com, what happened behind the scenes? So we get to the NSA center, and we were going to go to the military portion of it where they have this massive tower and everything like that, but we went into the back road, and there it, it was a bunch of signs, no footage, no filming and everything, and we said, well, you know, we'll, we just want to go and, and, and go in and see what's going on. So we went to the parking lot. We didn't even get, like, it was essentially behind enemy lines, but we didn't even go anywhere crazy. We were in the parking lot. And we were going up to this office, this first unmarked office, and we had the cameras going with the live stream that you can see that's up on InfoWars.com. And uh, the guy comes out and says, turn those cameras off right now! And he gets into his car and literally peels out. Like, he just puts his pedal to the metal and just skids over there, just blazing fast over. He jumps out of the car. It's unmarked, unmarked Ford with uh, no indication of NSA at all. Remember, these are the people that spy on everything we do. And then, and then, yeah. and then you go to the gate. That's what that is. There's a parking lot. That is a gate over there. It's a gate, and they act like it's the end of the world. What a bunch of drama let's queens! Clear. Let's be clear. There was no gate. It was just a road. We no, I know. I'm saying. Road. I'm saying you went to the parking area outside the base. That that building you wanted to go to is the gate. Exactly. Exactly. We didn't even go past the gate or anything. We didn't trust it. We just went to the parking lot. And, you know, they spy on us all day. So we figured, hey, let's just do a live stream and we'll ask them. We'll be friendly with them. We were, not, we're, not, we were actually pretty nice. We walked up to their office and he, he said, turn those cameras off more right now. And then he, and he just goes around. He calls back up. He says, I need help on his, on his uh, little radio. And then a ton of our smart cars, he physically took Josh's camera and turned it off, took the phone, turned it off. He just confiscated all of them and started turning them all off. And then I was talking to you on the phone. He said, give me that phone now. He just took it out and just turned it off. And, uh, then he gets all his buddies there, and he's like, oh, I'm a lieutenant, NSA officer. And they are like, give us your IDs right now. And I said, are you going to arrest me? He's like, maybe. And I said, well, we were just going to the office over there. He said, if you would have gone into that office, my dog would have got you. And I said, well, what are, you, what, are you, what, what are you talking about? He's like, I got a canine in there. And I'm like, oh, so your dog would literally attack me if I went to the office? He's like, I'm not saying that. And he, they just, they were just loved they just wanted to be us up so bad i mean they, they're, they're hey don't worry i'm, I'm really they sad for their kids money on it statistically one of those cops has got a kid at home that can't even talk because of the soft kill and, and he's not man enough to admit he'll watch this later and freak out he's not man enough to admit the, that the global has brain damaged his son or daughter probably a son and I know that because the statistics folks blood brain barrier it's not i'm doing i'm not doing the johnny carson karnak thing here and they don't care. They will sacrifice their family on their petty power trips. You understand? It's about they're above us, Anthony. Do you understand that? Oh, of course I do. It's like if they can, and they knew who we are, by the way. If they can come out and you know trash Anthony Gucciardi and beat him up, then they're they are powerful. They are cool, and they're 
you know, they're the NSA, and, I, and they kept saying we as if they are the NSA. Said, we! Well, you, know, you guys smile on us. He said, we do, you know, we do whatever. What, he kept saying we as if he stay was. Stay there, the stay there, NSA. stay there. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> My judge, what is the secret of the universe? <laughs> Infoworth.com. <laughs> Anthony Gucciardi, one of our um, affiliate reporters, he heads up StoryLeak.com. A couple days ago said, why don't we go to the NSA headquarters and show they're not shut down during the government shutdown? And I looked at him and I said, uh, yeah, if you want to do it, we've already been to the San Antonio one. They got signs up saying you can't film, but federal courts have ruled as long as you don't go through, you know, any lock gates or anything. It's First Amendment. But I said, they'll still try to threaten you. I said, if you want to do it, he goes, well, let's go to the Utah one. So he and two of my crew members, Weldon Henson and Josh, went to Utah and they're live streaming right now. They just left. And they had uh, police, NSA police, this is in the parking lot by the side of the road before you go on the base. Come up and get in their face and grab their cameras, which is assault, take everything, and then they got in the car and drove off and they didn't even know how to delete it properly. In fact, you, you could hear the live feed trying to turn the video camera off. They, uh, they're like, take the battery off. And the guy goes, there isn't a battery. It was an iPhone on top of the uh, larger high-quality Canon camera that was shooting high def. They're going to go back to the hotel for their own security. They're going to just upload uh, the high-def footage uh, to Prison Planet Live and to some of the other channels so nothing can stop us. And then it won't matter if they try to come after you. Now, when we've been to military bases before and just politely asked, like at Pittsburgh three years ago, the public information officer, they had regular army at the National Guard base. We called ahead. They said, just come to the gate. Uh, we have footage of it in my film, Police State 4, The Rise of FEMA. Rob Dew and Jason Burmis and others pull up. They're very polite. We'd like to talk to your public information officer. Here's his name. We're supposed to be here. They act all freaked out because we're terrorists. I mean, there's never any real terrorist. Government runs Al-Qaeda. Government runs the drugs, everything else. So finally, someone's come, enemy Americans. As Homeland Security is in the news today, here's the headline. DHF's uh, chief government calls privacy groups terrorists. That's a quote. That's in Congress. So, so any freedom is terrorism, folks. And all of a sudden, the police come to their hotel. I'm up here at night working. The cops call my cell phone and go, your guys threatened to blow up the base. And I went, no, they didn't. Uh, the, I told him to go talk to the public information officer. We've been calling them days before. And he goes, well, and I go, you know, we have footage of all that. He goes, oh, you do? Uh, uh, and I go, you better talk to the military. He calls me back 10 minutes later and he goes, nothing to worry about, Alex. We know who you are. Yeah, everything's fine. The cop called me to, to like I was going to go, oh, yes, I'm a terrorist. These people are out of their gourds, folks. They, it's like play acting. Oh, look, it's the press. They're terrorists. Get them. They want to blow us up. So I want to warn my reporters. I don't know if, that, if they'll act like this in Utah. But in the case of Pittsburgh, and then they still arrested two days later. They're like, that's the one right there. He's like filming with all the press. They come and they pick him out so they lost the lawsuit and take him to a center where they chained everyone down in the rain all night. And they did a bunch of other stuff to him that I've been asked not to mention. Not to do, but to other people. I told part of it once and somebody got irritated. I mean, that's what they do. I know it's humiliating. I've been in juvenile before and... You know, had one of the jail guards try to have sex with me. I mean, this is what this is why they get these jobs. I mean, it's what goes on. Uh, but uh, one thing about this abuse is we have to say what they did. It's like if a woman gets raped, uh, you've got to come out about it. And it's the same deal. We have to admit the government's abusing us. That's why they act like it's a end of the world if you come and try to film their big illegal center. Because remember, up until the mid-90s, I would get criticized. People would say there is no NSA, there is no echelon when James Bamford and others had gone public, and Wayne Madsen and others, and they just flip out like it's the end of the world. There's the footage, folks. They actually got the high-def footage. If you're watching us at infowars.com forward slash show, 
infowars.com forward slash show. Uh, you can see the master feed of the radio show and their live feeds synced together, or you can just go to infowars.com on the main page, and we have Infowars reporters at the NSA Center acting like we're a national security threat for being on the parking lot where the buses and stuff come in. It's a giant facility, you know, bigger than Mall of America on record. With them reading your emails, watching your webcam, harassing their girlfriends and wives, uh, mainly spying on economic data to give it to select globalist corporations. I mean, they're just in there committing millions of crimes a day. In fact, it's billions, because every time they do it without a warrant, it's a crime. And, and, and now they've had Senator um, Dianne Feinstein come out two days ago and admit in a hearing, because they always screw up and say classified stuff in public. That's what Dr. Bowman always talked about, the stuff he could admit about Star Wars and Black Mana and things, were because the other people had blurted stuff out you know, in congressional hearings, she goes, of course the whole backbone's tapped. Of course we're listening. That's on record. And they're like, oh, man, that's classified. They're listening to everything criminally. And they're building giant motherships to spy on us, to dial into their imperial probe droids, smart meters, and iPhones, and droids, and computers, and washers, and dryers, everything with microphones and cameras, watching and listening to you on record. And then you can go on Google Maps. You could sit outside the entrance there and videotape that parking lot and then the guard shack and the and the real entrance all day long. But they have to puff up and show up and act like, oh my gosh, national security, American citizens have shown up. No, no, it's dangerous to New World Order security that we're there shining light on you. And then the mystique is gone. Everybody's not afraid anymore. And hey, go ahead and crush me. You know I'm all the way in on this. I'm an American. I'll die an American. I'm a good person with honor and courage and duty. I do defend the Republic. I am a soldier of the Republic. 110%, 18 years, 100% plus against the globalists. No fear. All these guys talk about no fear all day. It's a bunch of talk. It's not manly to go to a football game and get drunk and act powerful and bug your eyes out at people. It's manly to go expose the people raping our birthright of privacy and liberty and using the data against us on record to corner the economy and give it to offshore corporations. America is captured. And the sooner all these NSA people, man, I told you about Barton Springs and I'm going back to Anthony and his live feed. Our reporters there on the ground. Pray for him, folks. <clears throat> I met Barton Springs about a month and a half ago and there's these two women and, and, and their husbands and they've all got criminal justice degrees and they're talking about how they work for the state and they work for the city. It was two women, three men. No, three women, two men. And one of them asked about the husband. She goes, well, what's he gonna do? He goes, well, he's going to the NSA center, the, or she said the data center uh, in San Antonio. And I went, oh, the NSA? And they all looked at me like I was nobody and went, huh. So we're like, huh, look at you, little nobody. Uh, and I looked at him and I said, listen, the Republic's rising again, and those are crimes being committed. And you better hope when we take the country back and we have Nuremberg trials that you and your husband don't get arrested. Do you understand that? And one guy started trying to bow up a little bit. And I just stood up to all of them and I didn't say anything. I'm like, you've been told what's going on. And they all, all those guys and their wives knew. They knew right there who I was. They knew right there they were cowards. They knew right there I wasn't scared of them. One of the guys was a lot bigger than I am, started bowing up. And I was like, I got up. And I was about to say, come on, come on, both of you. You don't got your badges and guns on right now. You punch me, I'll pull your arms out of your sockets. I'm sick of your crap. I'm sick of you raping my country. I'm sick of you shutting our country down. And I'm sick of you telling me how patriotic you are all day. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of it. Excuse me. Excuse me. I mean, folks, this is a normal response to being gang raped by foreign banks. They come out and say, oh, your washing machine has microphones in it in Wired magazine. And I'm supposed to not get upset by hearing a bunch of people getting off on how they're part of the in club spying on us illegally now. I'm sick of it. I'm, get off my back. Stop acting like you're above the law. Stop acting like you're God. You make me want to throw up. Anthony, I'm sorry I got really angry. I was flashbacks to that. Uh, Anthony, tell us, tell us, tell us what you went through, what it was like. Get back to your point. Listen, this is a normal response to be upset. These people are crazy, not even power tripping. They are megalomaniac, insane droids of this Sauron system. What happened?
happened was... That yeah, we that's why I got mad. Tell them what they did to you off air, threatening you with dogs and stuff. Yeah, so we, we get into this parking lot. I mean, we didn't even... It's not like we came and bro broke in. I mean, let me be clear. We're, we're bulletproof here. We're bulletproof. We did everything perfectly fine within the actual law that they don't even know about. And they said, oh, we need to delete your stuff. And they didn't even know how to do it. And they said we could, you know, we, we just left because we, we intimidated them by knowing the law and knowing our actual rights. So they were just afraid of us. But when we first got in there, we were just doing some live streaming, saying, hey, we're here, you know, in this parking lot. We're going to actually try and go into the data center. We didn't even think it was a big deal. We said, let's just go up to this building here, this, this unmarked weird building with bunch, a bunch of uh, suburbans around it and stuff unmarked and, and just see if we can talk to somebody about getting in, you know, see if we can actually get a response. Before that even happens, literally after I close the door to the car, this guy comes out with a badge and it says NSA and he gets in his car, he peels out, like he puts pedal to the metal. Actually, first he yells and he says, get out of here, get those cameras off, turn those off now. That and camera's only crazy. supposed to be watching you at home, scum. I owe yeah. you. That's our job. So he gets in the car and he peels out and, he's, and he drives over here as fast as he physically can. And he jumps out of the car and he's like, turn those off now. And he starts screaming at us, telling us we can't film here and that the sign says so. So I say, hey, we're just here to ask some questions. You know, we just want to ask some questions. We don't even want any trouble because I'm trying to be nice and at least get further. You know, I thought we could get further. But he's just so insane. He says, I need help on his little radio. So a bunch of other unmarked huge cars come up full of uh, SNSA agents or officers or something. And we, we, we start talking to him, and he says, I need all your cameras right now. Stay there. Stay there. Camera. We got to go to break, Anthony. We're going to come back to you and tell the rest of it. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show. We're back live. Our reporters went to the NSA. And I got really angry earlier because during the break they were telling me about threatening him with a police dog. Was he and saying we'll get you and all this other stuff and saying we can do whatever we want. Gucci already hadn't got to that on air yet. I wanted to tell everything that happened. And it just really freaks me out because I nicely just said to these cops and their wives that were also in law enforcement, who were bragging about going to work for the NSA in San Antonio. I just said, oh, the NSA? And they're, they're like, huh, who are you, scum? And I just, that's why I don't like country clubs and people think they're better than me just because they're part of some clique and they're paid for by my money. And I saw some cop trying to run people off the road for fun yesterday, driving into work, just running up behind people for fun when he could get past them and then just doing it, messing with people. I mean, this is the essence of like living in North Korea or the worst areas of Mexico when it gets to me. And I don't know, maybe people don't have the spirit of liberty, but my family, both sides on the Mayflower, both sides, that's very rare. Uh, my family all over the Texas Revolutionary War, uh, my family in the original Revolutionary War, uh, all across the board, folks, and I don't even get into it. I mean, everybody's got a little bit of history in their background. The point is, I literally, literally boil with anger when I think about this, but where is the instinct to not want to be trampled on? I mean, I guess we are a nation of slaves, what we put up with, where they put in the newspaper, they're watching kids at home over their laptops illegally. And it, it comes out, it's happening from Missouri to California to Pennsylvania, and nobody gets in trouble. I mean, when we first were talking about that a decade ago, people didn't believe us. Now it's just all over the news. Yeah, we watch kids at home, big deal. Yeah, Google's listening to you with the microphones, big deal. And then you go and say, hey, we want to talk to your public information officer. Hey, we got dogs. You shouldn't be here. Give me that camera. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, it's like it's out of control. And they're there to intimidate us. Let's go back to Anthony Gucciardi with Weldon Henson and others. Anthony, tell folks in a nutshell how they were threatening you. Yeah, so the guy started screaming at us to turn our cameras off because we dared to go onto the NSA parking lot, which, by the way, is funded with taxpayer dollars. It is actually our property. But anyway, so he comes out, he just squeals his tires, comes off, speeds over here, just demands to, to hand over the cameras as if we're just slaves and going to bow to him and just, like, give him all of our properties. Like, give me those cameras. They're going to turn those off. We're going to delete all that footage. And uh, we just said, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. You know, tell us why. And I actually said, I wasn't even confrontational at first. I just said, hey. You know, we're just, we want to talk to your public affairs officer and talk to your commanding officer. We just want to go ahead and see what's going on here and have a few questions. And he was like, no, I'm not saying nothing until you give me those cameras. So he turned the cameras off and everything like that. And we had it all on live stream. You can watch it until he turned off the live stream and turned off the cameras. And 
what happened was then I said, well, we want to know why there's underground bunkers in your NSA area. Why are there underground bunkers that obviously have ventilation shafts that are there? And Weldon Henson, who's former military, could say that he actually worked, you know, on some similar stuff, and he can tell them. And then we said, why is there a military outpost right there that actually connects with the NSA? And later, by the way, when it was off camera, he was like, oh, no, that has nothing to do with the NSA. There's a literal road from the military base. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, listen, all they're going to do is lie to you because you're the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. So then base does is he just goes over and takes Josh's, uh, takes the iPhone, which we were streaming with, and just turns it off. And he's like, give me that. He just takes it. And we're like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? What are the laws for this? And before that, he, he got on his little radio and said, I need help. And like a bunch of unmarked cars came over, surveilling us from everywhere, and a bunch of dudes came out who were NSA uh, officers, lieutenant. Like, they use military ranks now because they think they're cool and they think that they are the NSA and that they're the ones spying on people when they're, they're nothing. And they come out and they say, give me those cameras now. And they took, they took the cameras. Of course, they just grabbed it out of Josh's hands, turned off the live stream, turned off the cameras. We said, hey, we want to talk to your public affairs. I don't care. Give me those cameras. I'm not saying. Oh, no. you do is pay my check, boy. Yep, we got to pay them. So they took the cameras, turned off all the stuff, and then we're standing there. I'm saying, you're not deleting the content. I'm not allowing you to delete the content. We will leave. We will leave. And he's like, no, it's illegal under CFR or whatever. And we called you live on air, and you looked it up. It's not even what it says at all. They have no idea. It's not even the right one he referenced, and he has no idea. So we just kept saying, that's not even true. You're lying to us. You're not telling us the truth. It's, it's completely fake. And he was like, no, it's not. I know the law. I'm a lieutenant of the NSA. I'll read your wife's email if I want. Oh, yeah. And then they got my information, too. They like, give me your ID. I said, are you going to arrest me if I don't give your ID? He's like, maybe. And then he's like, I got a dog. And I'm like, <laughs> it was really <laughs> almost funny. It's really <laughs> almost funny how pathetic it was. And I was like, what do you mean you have a dog? I got a canine unit. He was going to eat you up if you went over there. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. And then he, he's like, give me all your IDs. And so I said, listen, I'll give you my ID if you just tell me you know, why you need it. And he, he just kept threatening us. Like, it's in a weird way where he doesn't actually say that he was going to arrest us and beat us. And I was actually thinking they would probably do it. So I gave them uh, my business card. And they're like, oh, Anthony Conciardi. Stay there, stay there, stay there. I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the Don't Tread on Me flag. And now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine. Plus, get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month. And if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water, get the Pro One High Performance Water Filter. It gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria, cyst, fluoride, heavy metals, and numerous other contaminants. So join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. <laughs> we gonna watch you. You ain't gonna even ask us questions, boy. You think this is a free country? You gonna learn better, son. It's our time now. It's our country. We work for the new world order. We gonna... Teach you Americans respect, boy. We know everything about you. You're not about to point out what we're doing with that First Amendment. That First Amendment's going down just like that Second Amendment. You're going to learn that, boy. You're going to learn that good. By the way, we have the real Rowdy Piper, who, by the way, is a listener, saying that on air here. And I'm not bragging. I'm going to go back to Gucciardi in a minute. Talking to Pachinik on and off air, it turns out, we have an article out on InfoWars.com today about it, that Tom Clancy watched my films and listened to the show. And that for 12 years, since I first knew Pachinik, since 2002, that even before I knew Pachinik, because Pachinik reached out to us, if I remember correctly, he and Tom Clancy would sit around talking about stuff that was on the show. And then I think about how I got contacted by the assistant of um, Kurt Vonnegut, and then sure enough, he sent me some art correspondent with him, got to talk to him on the phone a couple times. And there's all these other famous people I've never gotten to tell you about 
lot, even more famous than Kurt Vonnegut, who don't want their names on air. But I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you, I haven't realized how big this broadcast is and how long it's been big and how fast it's exponentially growing. And it's not because I'm even that good. It's that I'm willing to say what other people won't say. I'm willing to talk about what other people won't talk about. I'm able to build what other people won't build. Because I have just fundamentally been so upset about the globalist collectivization for 20 years. 20 years ago, I, I, I woke up when I was about 19 years old. I'm 39, about to be 40. And I found out they were taking farmers' property for no reason and giving it to rich banks to build on saying it was for environmental reasons. I learned about them taking people's guns. I learned about UN brainwashing in the schools because my cousin was part of it. Uh, I learned about, and I knew it was authoritarianism. I studied history, so that I got to fight this. And in 18 years, being on air, we've been able to do this, and we're just now getting into our stride. We're just now entering our prime. And I do overheat like a race car engine and go up to 20,000 RPMs and blow my engine sometimes on air. And, and it's not an act, folks. People know that who know me. I'm a very calm, nice person, except when I focus on this stuff. And I, I do start flipping out because, man, it's so real, the stuff I've seen, the things we've covered. And, and, and just it's so frustrating. But then to also know that to know that we're routinely breaking huge news here on the air, the Drudge Report, DrudgeReport.com is carrying one of our stories today. I get to, you know, interface with the biggest website in the world, biggest news site in the world. Uh, I get to know Ron Paul. I get to know all of you out there. We get to know all these great activists like Anthony Gucciardi and so many others that are out there. And I get to learn about the power of free humanity and how effective we can be together. Yeah, Gucciardi's showing us the ticket that uh, he was given by them about why they erased his material, and they also gave him some other info. Uh, we're going to show that in a minute. And by the way, we were on the NSA site earlier. It said, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. Can we show that again? I mean, that is such a joke. Well, what do they have to hide? If they have nothing to hide, they have nothing to fear. That's the Domestic Surveillance Directorate. Defending our nation, securing our citizens, yeah, securing us in prisons, promoting transparency. <laughs> Your data, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. <clears throat> Connecting the dots. Well, you know, we've connected the dots that you're run by foreign banks and that you're waging economic warfare on us. And we've connected the dots, even if you don't know how to delete footage on a camera and you know, your average security personnel are like the average American. I bet those guys weren't dumb. They just knew all the football and baseball scores. And they know, you know the measurements on their favorite model. And they know they're the boss and the people bow to us and that's what freedom is. Let's go back to Anthony Gucciardi, but my whole point is America and the world is waking up right now. I am so honored to, to be on air with you, and I know I don't do the best job sometimes, but we're real. We love freedom, and we're fearless because we, we understand the stakes are too high if we don't fight this. In fact, it's not true. I'm not fearless. I feel fearless, but then I realize why I have a fearless feeling. It's like if you're cornered, and the person isn't going to let up, and it's you or them, it's not fearless. You just know what you got to do. I guess I'm desperate. Who was the samurai? I have trouble pronouncing his name, who said, the way of the samurai is desperate. No, that's, that's a Chinese. Sun Tzu is the Chinese uh, war expert, the art of war, but that's close. No, it's, it's the way of the samurai is desperate. Such a man cannot be killed by 10 men or more, is the quote. You can pull it. It was like a famous, I think, shogun that said that. And more and more in life, I realize that it, it's the desperateness. It's in desperateness that we get out of the trance, that we get motivated, that we take action. It's in desperateness that we have our real power. Uh, desperately fighting for liberty, throwing all of it on God and saying, I'm taking the step. God protect me. God guide me. That's where it's all at. Because I realize if their system comes in, if their system fully goes into place, it's already hellish. It is, it is curtains for all of us and all those billions of innocent children that are alive now and coming. I and mean, we cannot turn the world over to the worst people. And it's such a good feeling. It's such a commitment to do the right thing. And then to learn that we are influencing the Japanese government, since I mentioned that, the Syrian government, the Russian government, the U.S. government, the big banks, to learn that in the councils of government, 
they're looking at what I say and what I do because they're so afraid themselves and so in the system and, and so specialized and so compartmentalized, the world more and more comes here. That's what MSNBC calls me is this dangerous prophet. And it's just bizarre to see the enemy sees me as that because they understand there's no real leadership against them. And it's really bizarre to know that of the whole pantheon of resistance, all the great people out there, that I'm one of the main figures of resistance. And that doesn't put me on a power trip. It's the opposite. It's the realization of the responsibility. People say, well, then be more serious, be more focused. You know what? God will lead God and direct me. I'm just a man. My best works are dirty rags. I'm doing the best I can. I'm pushing myself every night till 10, 11, 12, working hard, getting up at 5.30 in the morning. I'm doing the best I can, but I just wanted to report to you, the enemy's never going to tell you how much power you've got. They're never going to tell us how effective we are, but they know. We have a chance. Humanity's waking up. If some ragtag guy from Texas, on his own, with the help of listeners, could, could really give the enemy a run for their money, think what you can do as a computer software engineer, or as a scientist, or as a police officer, or in the military, or a teacher, or a lawyer, or a stay-at-home mom, or an old man, or an old woman, all of you doing little things together lead to massive things. If we just begin to move with just a tiny bit of energy, we will defeat the globalists. That's why they're racing to put their total control grids in place. Anthony, you got five minutes on the floor. You're doing live feed at Infowars.com. You've been talking in the background there. Tell us, to, to finish up what they did to you, what happened, and by the grace of God, they're fumbling, bumbling. Doesn't even matter. We already have the live stream footage anyways. Uh, they couldn't even erase the footage off the cameras. They could not, and then we showed them that their law was a lie, that they were you know, legally able to delete everything and not only delete, they were talking about <clears throat> literally taking the cameras themselves and taking them back with them and just keeping them to, to, to save the footage, you know, to, to make sure we delete the footage. And we just kept saying, you don't have the authority to do that. You know, you don't have the authority for that. Show us the law. Show us everything. And they could not. They kept saying, see or whatever. And that's just a, it's about trespassing. What is this? What is this, what is this ticket they gave you? Yeah, so that's why I wanted to talk about a key point that I forgot to mention because there's so much insane tyranny going on with this whole thing. They gave us, they wrote up a police report on this. It's actually, it's an NSA police report. Uh, at the top, you can see here, uh, it's a personal stop report, NSA police. They have all this stuff. They have all our identification and everything in it. And uh, the badge number and, and the guy's name is here as well. But... The reason they wrote us up, and this goes into the database, by the way. They told me, I said, I said, what are you guys doing? They said, give us your IDs, or we might arrest you. Know, they didn't say we might arrest you, but they said, are you going to arrest us? Maybe. I got dogs. And they kept threatening us. And then, basically, I gave them my business card first. I said, here you go, take this. They wrote down my name and everything. And they put the reason as photography. Reason for stop and, you know, detainment, photography. That is literally what they did. And then, this is like show. King Kong giving a tiny rhesus monkey a ticket for being in the uh, in the ape family or the monkey family. I mean, these yeah. are the ultimate spies, and you just go to their 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 main gate wanting to talk to a public information person, and they flip out. Well, get this. I said, well, hey, we just want to talk to the uh, public information office, and they said, oh, here you go. And he pulled it out of his he had it in his like jacket or maybe his car. Pulled out this ridiculous like North Korea guide i'm showing it right now on infowars the feed nsa national security agency saving lives saving lives they have the disc national security agency b-roll and it says why national uh, security agency is so important and they said here you go and they started laughing at me <laughs> this is what we're going to give them look has a little fingerprint scanner on there building upon our rich heritage of spying this is they have spying but our rich heritage so it talks about how they're saving lives, and this is my personal favorite. There is a literal fingerprint scanner. It doesn't actually scan fingerprints, but it's a mimic of a fingerprint scanner on this guide, this insane guide. I'm going to keep it. You can have it. We'll bring it back to the studio. National Security Agency is celebrating 60 years 
Wow. 60 years giving select intel to mega corporations to shut down the economy. 60 years controlling narcotics trade. 60 years destroying the family and making sure local police don't find out when we're flying little kids out to Saudi Arabia on C-130s. 60 years of snuff films. 60 years of pulling people's teeth out with pliers. 60 years of running Al-Qaeda. Succeeding in today's operations at the top. They're succeeding in all that. And they said over and over again, this has never happened before. They could not believe that we were challenging them. And guess what? We won. We got the footage. We're bulletproof legally. We have defeated them, and they're just a bunch of minions. But overall, they did identify with the NSA, like, here's our packet. We're succeeding in saving lives. They were just laughing at me. They, they know what they're doing. They, they literally thought it was a huge joke that they were giving me this packet, like, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, try and get in contact with the public affairs office. Probably shut down because the government shut down. I said, well, the NSA's still going. And they said, yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, we are. We're still going. They just love it. Well, the they issue really is it shows what a pathetic country we've become. That, that it's an act of supreme defiance and, and heroism to go to the front gate of the NSA and ask to speak to the public information officer and have them flip out. And we did find uh, at gpo.gov 228.13 disturbances on protected property. And this is what's been defeated in federal court before. They're saying taking photos was a disturbance, but in federal court that's been thrown out. But this is what they were talking about. Let me read it on air. Any conduct which impedes, you just pulled up politely and asked to talk to their public information person at their front gate, or threatens the security. Well, they're threatening the security of our First threatens Amendment. Threatens the security? Well, listen, wow, let me go further. Parking lot. Let me go further here. Any con, well, any slave near the illegal spy center, again, folks, they're hiding in the dark. Let me just read this to you. Any conduct which impedes or threatens the security of the protected property or any buildings or persons thereon of which disrupts the performance of official duties by agency employees or which interferes with egress or egress of protected property, that's what they use on the anti-abortion people on the sidewalk, is prohibited. Also prohibited is any, and, and this is just their synopsis of the law, the law doesn't actually say this, any uh, prohibition is any disorderly conduct. You weren't being disorderly. Any, see, that's how they try to use the clause. Any failure to obey an order to depart the premises. So he, this is really... As I could tell, he was trying to confuse you, telling you to go but not letting you go, wanting to then charge you with trespassing. But we said the key words, we agree to go. We're following that order. That's when they had to let you go. Any unwarranted loitering, any behavior which creates loud or unusual noises or nuisances, or any conduct which obstructs the usual use of entrances, foyers, lobbies, corridors, offices, elevators, stairways, or parking lots. Yeah, this is written for pro-life groups back in the 80s. And you didn't do any of that. You pulled up to, to the parking lot to go to the main gate to ask to talk to the press people, and they flipped out like North Koreans would because what they're doing on record is illegal inside Anthony Gucciardi. Exactly. We literally now, it's illegal to be in a parking lot. I mean, it's not even that we went past the gate. We were going to the office to ask for a public affairs officer, which is what I actually had planned to do, and ask him some questions. And they were threatening us with arrest, threatening us with the dogs, attacking us and eating us, and just being in a parking lot. And they don't even know the law. And he kept saying, oh, yeah, under that law, you have to give up all of your cameras. Not just, here, give them to me for a minute, even. It's not even that anymore. See, when, when, when they succeed, they push the ante. They've been able to confiscate cameras before, so now it's, we're not just going to confiscate them. We're going to take them back to the station, and then they're going to look at all the stuff he got and delete everything. Or, or who knows, edit it, film it, and make you look like you did something. And we said, hey, we're just shooting a bunch of B-roll, too. I mean, you can't delete all our stuff. And he said, anything taken within this premises is illegal, but it's not at all. It's just a complete lie. And they kept making up, and they said, yeah, just leave. And I said, well, okay, we'll leave. We'll, we'll go. No, give us the cameras. And I, I said, well, okay, we'll, we're going to leave, though. We don't want to do that. And then at the end, finally, once we were on the phone with you live and everything, and they realized what we kept saying, it's on live stream. 11 million people saw it. It's on live stream. It's, it's on live stream over and over again. Then he was like, he was just like so mad. Just He was literally caressing his gun. At Weldon, was he, was he not? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Here, 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 here. Let's hear that from Weldon Henson. Threatened that a dog would eat you caressing the gun. Let's. Uh, dog was going to eat us. Don't. Oh, yeah. Dog is going to get us. And then, yeah, he would. Uh, they yeah, but, yeah, but hand the, the hand the phone to Weldon. I want to hear it directly from Weldon Henson. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Alex. Yeah, tell us what happened, buddy. 
Uh, well, literally, you know, they came out there and they didn't like us filming. So um, they confronted us like Anthony told you earlier. I mean, I already had the, 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 stream, the streaming uh, camera out and, Man, this guy came out real quick and was just started yelling, hey, you know, uh, put that camera away. And we were like, hey, we're just trying to talk to somebody. And we didn't even get it. We were going to walk up to their building, you know, and, and try to get an interview and, and talk, talk to him. He didn't give us a chance. I mean, he jumped in his unmarked vehicle and just and peeled the tires out and got over there as quick as he could and turned the cameras off. We said no. And uh, then he had to radio and get uh, some more uh, guys out there. Yeah, he said, I need help. And. Um, what was the part caressing the gun? Well, yeah, obviously he was uncomfortable. I mean, this, this this first guy that showed up was definitely your typical, you know, roided out guy. I mean, he was yelling, very angry. I mean, the other guys were were a little nicer, but you could tell he was just uh, man. If he could, if we could have done one wrong move, I, got, I bet he'd have been real happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, guys, great job. Get in, upload all the footage uh, to uh, the YouTube channels, and then it won't matter if they try to grab you at the airport. But they're not going to do anything to you because they don't want to bring any attention on this. They do not want people knowing that there's still Americans left that would dare go to the steps of Mordor and knock on the Iron Gate, behind which Sauron sees all, pierces flesh. We'll be right back with other news as the Homeland Security groups shut down all the memorials. You know, John the Revelator told the truth. You can see everything he said now unfolding. Isn't that too bad for all those that deny there is a God? We are back live, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, uh, look what we found here sent in through tips, and I'd actually seen this before. Unclassified for official use only. Highly restricted. This leaked a few years ago. Photographing the exterior of federal facilities. And it goes through that as long as someone hasn't pass through a prohibited controlled gate and they have to have the law listed that they cannot take anybody's cameras or footage and it's the same thing and it even tells them in the u.s department of homeland security federal protective services and this came out when they started losing in federal court in 2010 you can see the date on that where they lost all these court cases like one of them was like a million bucks but uh, look here where it tells them how to handle it. It says, because the initial interview was voluntary, PSO should not seize the camera or its contents and must be cautious not to give such orders to a photographer to erase the contents of the camera as these constitutes a seizure or detention. Yeah, false imprisonment, felony. All contents or all contact with the public, including photographers, must be conducted in a professional and polite manner. PSO personnel should not be distracted from their duties by engaging in assessing the photographic effort, posing or for taking a picture. There you go. And of course, this is the, the official cover your butt stuff. They harass everybody. Uh, you try to photograph the Brooklyn Bridge, they come up and harass you. But if you're actual Al-Qaeda, they give you heat-seeking missiles and then go you know, murder as many Christians as you can immediately. That's what I mean. This, this, this is not our government. And the average guys don't know that. They're still ignorant. We're here to wake them up. Believe me, the whole NSA is going to be watching this. So that's really, I'm really targeting you. I'm being honest about it. I want you to become American again. I want you to get off your power trip and realize what's happening. You notice I said, don't become an American. I said, become American. That's when you truly are an American, when you're American. So there you go. We'll get that in our article as well. They were clearly violating. And I checked all this where I let the reporters go. I mean, I already knew this. This had already come out in the news, but I'm glad folks pointed it back out. I've done two hours now of transmission without plugging anything. We fund ourselves with the books, the T-shirts, the videos, InfoWarsStore.com, the monophylin seaweed that's so good for the thyroid on record, and it's got all the studies and the rest of it, and InfoWarsStore.com. You go to InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com. They shorted us 2,500 bottles of the additional we bought, uh, and it got here on the truck. So I said we were sold out yesterday. A truck came and they go, oh, here was the rest because we only sent you a certain amount. We have 2,500 bottles or so right now. It's not sold out. Doesn't matter. More is coming next week. They just manufactured it yesterday uh, at the lab. This is the best nascent iodine, atomic iodine out there for protecting yourself from the radiological background noise that's out there. It's on record. And so good for, I mean, just, just, just amazing. Go to InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent atomic iodine.
Nothing else like it. Infowarslife.com. Where you can also call toll free 888 253 3139. 888 253 3139. And find all the other amazing vitamins, minerals, and just the best products out there at Infowars Health. Dot com. There's InfoWarsHealth.com, but then you have our own private label of nascent atomic iodine from the best lab in the country. Available right now at InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at InfoWars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.